Hello. Long time no see. Here we are. Welcome. Um, we're at the altar and I wanted to share it with you because I think it looks really freaking good. Uh, this is my Samhain. I have no idea what the dog just knocked over. We'll just keep rolling. We're going to keep rolling and I will deal with whatever that was when we're done. Um, anyway, this is my Samhain altar setup. I will probably be changing it a little closer to because I need to add I want to add pictures of loved ones to the altar so I'll be definitely making some room there for them but right now this is what I've got going on I consider myself a bit of a maximalist and it shows on my altar this isn't really my working altar per se um, I have another altar in the house that's more empty where I will blend incenses oils and you know all that kind of witchy stuff that you find yourself doing sometimes uh, here this is where I connect with spirit this is where I connect with the divine this is where I will meditate or um, just have quiet time for myself or you know work magic for others so this is my kind of sacred space if you will um, let's let's take a look let's take a deeper look at what we've got going on on the altar tonight so I've got ouch <laughs> just rolled right into the desk here um this is my sensor this is what I use in ritual for sensing um it's handy it's wonderful I fr I friend most actually most of the things we will find on this altar have come from friends or from um family or people special people in my life and this is one of them so a friend gave this to me and it's full of sand and I will put charcoal the charcoal blocks in here and then my loose incense in here right now for loose incense I am enjoying the three kings blend this was given to me by a priest for those who aren't or don't know I'm a funeral director by day um and I was working at a funeral and I said to the priest like I love this incense like I really miss it from when I was a kid like growing up Catholic like the smell it's very spiritual to me and he gave me some and he knows about my witchcraft activities and so he knows what this is going to be used for and I thought it was really really nice that he gifted it to me for my own spiritual practice and I, I just love three kings you can get it anywhere it's really really common here we have the horned god of course hanging out um, really hanging out <laughs> um the horned god sits on the west side of my altar uh, reflecting the setting sun reflecting his rule over the dark time of the year so he's hanging out in the west um behind him of course to honor him and represent him we've got a set of antlers these were given to me by my papa uh, my grandfather when he passed away they were they were given to me and they were always in his bedroom um growing up they were always there part of my grandparents decorations and I'm really really glad that they're on the altar my grandmother's aware that they're on the altar and she's she loves that she's I'm very fortunate to have a lot of support in my family um and so yeah that's my grandfather his representation so papa you're already on the altar for Samhain but we'll get some more for you but that's that and then behind is this really cool candle my friend was in Salem and she brought this back for me and it's really really beautiful and now I have a moral dilemma of do I burn the candle like do I use it for something like really really serious like sometimes when I'm working with the gods and I'm asking for something I will usually give them something that I really want so I'll burn a candle that I've loved and been hoarding or um, leave a crystal inside that I really really like it's it's just to me like I'm asking for something of value from them so I need to give them something of value back as an offering as a thank you um so I'm thinking like do I use a candle for that I don't really don't want to because I want to look at it forever but I also have this issue where I don't like things not getting used for their purpose like a candle should be lit in my mind so I don't know maybe it'll be like Maybe I'll use it for like a Sabbath, a special Sabbath, and it'll only be like lit once a year, and then I'll have it for a longer time. But then I don't want to wreck the art. I don't know. We've gone off on a tangent. I, I don't know what to do. I, you tell me. Save the candle. Use the candle. I don't know. We have the buck candle for the dark time. And then behind it, we have the little bell that has been here forever, and that I got from Value Village. This little witch, I'm not sure if it's her. Yeah, so she's a bell. 
as well, Belle as well. I'm a poet today. Um, I have another one of her that, that it broke. And uh, I learned recently that these witches come in sets and there's a much bigger witch in the set. And now I am super hot and horny to find these witches. I'm on a quest to find these little witches so I can find the rest of her coven and reunite her. Behind her, and she really, her only reason she's on the altar is because she's a witch and it's Samhain. <laughs> um, behind, this is my newest obsession. It's uh, sculpting with clay. This is like literally the first, one of the first things I've ever sculpted. I'm not saying I'm good at it by any means. This is a rough, rough um, project here, but I love it. I absolutely love it. I've always wanted a, um, I'm saying um a lot. I'm sorry, guys. I've always wanted a, one of these plaques, one of these Sabbath plaques. You see them online and, and they're beautiful and they're, they're real expensive. So I've never, ever bought one and I really, they're just not my budget. Um, so I decided to make one. My friend Michelle has now created this monster in me that is obsessed with sculpting. So Michelle, you did this. <laughs> um, but I love it. It's really fun. It's relaxing. And I made one for the moons as well. And, and so I'm getting a little better at it. But this is my little Sabbath wheel. And I have it on Samhain. And we've got a little bat and a ghost and all that good stuff. So this is something that I'm really, really enjoying. And I'm finding a new a new obsession and this this cost me like ten dollars to make and that's it including paint glue and the clay so it was a dollar store project um and it was super fun and super relaxing and i 10 10 recommend down here is my little treasure chest i usually have some kind of chest or treasure chest on the altar the darkness and the mystery of what's inside when it's closed is what i use to represent nyx who's my like my main goddess my main squeeze and um, so I always have something like that or I try to and inside uh, is a compass that my high priestess gave me and um, it's really really special to me and it'll always point me back to the witches back to where I belong back to home and then here is a new addition uh, to my witchy stuff this moon goddess and she's really really pretty she's the perfect size she's not too big not too small and I absolutely love her and now we're kind of heading into that goddess zone but there's a mix I've got a I got Anubis over here and stuff too so this little dude I this was my one of the first things I sculpted I always end up making little ghouls I have a painting of a little ghoul as well it's like when I don't know what to make or what to paint it, it, usually a ghoul happens so this is Lawrence and he's an incense holder and he's currently burning some vampires blood incense over here is a little silver bowl it's really cute it actually has I don't know if you can see there we go little engraving on it and inside, these are little meditation devices that I use. So I struggle with keeping in mind like a guided meditation or um, visualizing one thing. I need to touch stuff. I need more than just the visualization. So what I've done is I've created a little meditation bowl. So inside of it are different items with interesting and different textures that all have special meaning to me. And then I can pick an item and uh, meditate on that and think on that. Like everything in here is special in its own little way. And that's what I do. And then I'll change it up and I'll put other items in there, new things, replace it and, and kind of mix it up where I can. But it works really well for me. This is my new fancy salt holder. <laughs> it's a broken keepsake urn. Um, no one's ever been there, it's brand new. Uh, but it's broken. It has no lid. So my boss told me to throw it out and I was like, I know a better use for it. So here it is. It's Tiger's Eyes or it's called Tiger's Eye Marble. So um, at least that's what the manufacturer calls it. I don't know. It's probably something. I think it's just marble. Maybe they just call it Tiger's Eye Marble because of the stripes. I don't know. But anyway, it's my salt holder. Over here is water. Oops helps if I actually show you. <laughs> My filming hasn't improved, I can tell you that. Um, water. I like to have water on the altar and leave it as an offering. And I also like to put the salt in and make holy water. 
And we have the goddess over here in the east where the sun rises, the place of life and um, the morning and beauty and all of that nice stuff behind her is a sex magic candle because I'm spicy. And then in here is a hodgepodge of things that I either handy of little items that I use a lot or feathers that I've collected. And um, in here we've got a rabbit's foot that's been in my family for probably 40 to 50 years. A um, little spoon that I use for my incense. This is wonderful. This is actually for like picking nuts. I use this to engrave candles. I use this to like carve into things, all kinds of stuff. So very, very handy. And now sculpting tool, um, very handy little instrument. I got feathers that were given to me, um, feathers that I found, a magic wand that my sister made me, um, a little bee. So I keep my little fetishes and little handy things in there. Then I've got a bunch of these little candles, little candles uh, back here. And I use those for lighting like these candles and like deep candles. I'll use those to get in to get in there. And then last but not least is my Anubis chalice back there. And I work with Anubis a lot um, for obvious reasons. And I always try to keep him around. If he's not on the altar, he's close by. So right now he's hanging out as a chalice. And then the altar cloth was made by a friend of mine. And she made this. So it's beautiful and I love it. And I use it every time this year. And this box contains my magical tools. So I keep them in there. Like my athemi, um, wands, cords, all that good stuff. They hide in there. So... I hope you really, really like this, and I hope that you found something interesting or useful from this video, and I was just really missing you, and I'm glad we got to spend some time together, and happy Samhain. Bye!